Anyway, honey, I don't, I don't want to be, you know, a bummer. I mean, we need to get all sentimental over a little boy. I no, it's, at but me. it's not the little boy. It's what he represents. And don't ever apologize for telling me how you feel. You know what I mean? He's such a man now. Yeah. yeah. I do love that I can let my car down with you. <clears throat> it's true. I, um, I do feel sometimes like I want to talk about... You know, the things I've missed with my boy. <laughs> hey, you, you you can't replace one child with another child, but you got my kids now. They they love you already. Mm. And they're going to love you even more. Right? Do you want to go to the cafe tomorrow, maybe, at the same time? We can go anytime you want. I, I, you know, I can't guarantee that you're going to get a bunch of flowers like you did <laughs> with a little boy. But... Babe, I want you to know that I don't feel incomplete, you know? I feel like I have everything with you. And it especially makes me feel really lucky that I do get to have your whole entire family. <sighs> I'm ready to give you the world. I know that. But you're, ha you're happy, right? I mean, I don't, I don't exactly have the world to offer you. Uh, what are you getting out of this? I got everything I want. You married me, right? There's that, and there's that saying, once you have everything you've ever wanted, and you have everything to lose. But we're not going to lose each other, you know why? Theo is right now running for his life with that witch of a wife of his. And they're never going to hurt you. Not as long as I'm breathing. I'll be getting out here. The driver will be taking you onward. So that's it? Have to be disposed of? You're not the woman I married. You had no loyalty to our son or to me. I loved Alexander. He was my son. But you destroyed him. I lost Alexander long before he was shot on that pier. I lost him the day you started turning him into a monster, recreating him in your image. My grandson is my chance to start over without your unfortunate influence. You think you've won. I know it. You'll fail. You'll drown in your own arrogance and you'll remember my words. I loved you once. I can't quite remember why. For a second, I visited with Jocelyn. I said hi to your mom. I was just surprised you weren't around. Yeah, sorry, I've been a little uh, sidetracked. Yeah, whatever was bothering you still is, big time. I, uh, I found out my dad is a suspect in Jake's hit and run. I went down to the PCPD to see what I can find out. I got I got a copy of the suspect list, and my mom is on the list. Your mom? Well, how many others? Seven to start, but some of them must have been eliminated by now. Okay, so your mom, there's no guarantee that she was, you know, the driver. Man, my mom is an awful driver. I mean, she's only been driving for a couple of years now, and last night when she came down here, she was all messed up about Jocelyn, and she, she could have just hit the kid, not even known. Look, okay, okay, listen, worst case scenario, she did it. It's, it's tragic, but it was an accident. She wasn't high, she wasn't drinking. There's no way she would be charged with anything. That's not the point. Look, Jason is Jake's father. And if my mom is the one who killed him, 
It would completely destroy them both. Look, you don't know anything for sure yet. And even if you did, Michael, you, you can't change what happened. Well, I can make sure the truth doesn't come out. That was Marucci. He's going to cover for you. Good. It wouldn't be any good to my patients today. I don't want anyone suffering because Robert, of me. Stop. Please, you didn't do this. I've been to Elizabeth's house a hundred times. I mean, I don't even remember going past her driveway. You're innocent. Maybe you just want me to be. But the truth is, I know it could have been me. It's Dante. Hello? Thank you. What? My car's been cleared. There's no DNA evidence or sign of a collision. Thank God. I still feel so awful. Did he say anything about Lisa? No. All right, well, you better hurry up. I'm sure she's already got it in Johnny's garage again, fixed and cleaned up. We don't know it was Lisa. She chased you to the yard last night, didn't she? Yeah, I, I took a shortcut and I lost her after that. Well, as much as I believed you were innocent, I believe just as much as she's guilty. Robin Scorpio has been cleared by forensics, so she's no oh. longer on the uh, suspect list. That's great. I'm really glad for her. Yeah, she was a mess thinking that she could have done that. But wouldn't someone know if they had a kid? Uh, you'd think, but if someone's driving a big enough car, or maybe they're under the influence, maybe they don't even realize what they've done. Anyway, what's going on with you? Um, nothing. I went to go see Elizabeth, but I chickened out. I haven't talked to her since I blasted her for her affair with Nicholas, and I know she's going through hell. I just... I really hope that it doesn't end up being someone that she knows. Yeah, there are three names on that suspect list I'd love to eliminate, including my father. Hey, uh, just got back from the garage. Bad news, for me anyway. Uh, Sonny's car is clean. Not the driver. Oh, uh, well, Robin Scorpio has been cleared too. So, three down, four to go. Why are you so convinced that your mother was the, the driver who hit Jake? I've never been in a car with her. I mean, parking meters trouble when they see her coming. Listen, just wait it out. Okay, you don't even know if there's anything to cover up yet. Look, I need to make sure my mom is protected. Nobody else can do that right now. Michael. Look, the, the transplant from Jake saved my sister's life. And you have no idea the guilt my mom's going to carry around with her. She finds out she was responsible for his death. It was an accident. Whoever was driving. Look, police files are filled with unsolved cases. There's no reason this can't be part of it. What are you going to do? I'll figure it out as I go along. I know that I shouldn't get ahead of myself, but I just... I think she's gonna be great. I think she's gonna be okay. Yeah, no, I know it's too early to be 100% sure she won't reject the kidney, but she's still really good. She's not gonna remember any of this. She's not gonna remember how scared we all were. Little boy that died to save her. You know, I, I really want to do something for Elizabeth and Lucky to thank them, but I, I don't even know I, where to start. I can't even imagine their pain. Especially Elizabeth. I mean, she's going through every moment and trying to remember where she missed Jake walking out that door when she turned her head and missed him walking out that door. She shouldn't blame herself. But she does. I mean, wouldn't you? What parent wouldn't? She's never gonna get over that. I don't know if I ever would. Sonny's cleared. I mean, you must feel better, and now you can focus on finding who did it. 
You know, uh, since no one deputized you, Lulu, it's probably best that you stay out of the way. Whoa! <laughs> you pissed off at me, don't take it out on Lulu. No, it's fine. I'll go. It's fine. What the hell's wrong with you? Well, I'm trying to cover your ass, as usual. Okay, two people who are close to your girlfriend are still suspects. One of them is her father. So I, I interviewed Rob and Scorpio, I looked over the footage again, the only person who's actually doing anything wrong, which is speeding, is Lisa Niles. Oh, I mean, it's best it's Dr. Niles, right? And not uh, Lulu's father or Michael's mother, right? Look, look man, I'm sorry. I, I, I feel for you, okay? I, I know that things get messy when something like this involves family. I, um, I wanted to call you and I wanted to tell you that Jocelyn is doing much better. I can't tell you how much I appreciate what you did for us. I love you, Jason. And wherever you are, I hope that you're safe. Dr. Robin Scorpio, How is she? Much better. Thanks to Jake. Well, I suppose that will be some small consolation at some point. Lucky and Elizabeth are suffering the worst pain there is. They'll get through it. Somehow. So will you. Me? God, look, I have nothing to complain about. My daughter's the one who got the miracle. Yeah, but the price of that miracle may turn out to be more than you realize, Caroline. What are you talking about? I just found out that you're on the PCPD's list of possible drivers of the car that hit Jake. <laughs> 